Hi guys, it's me, Ray, from raytalks.co.uk. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video of mine. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can get more tips about hair and modesty. Today's video is going to be about ways you can encourage growth on your wash days. If you're interested, please stay tuned. Tip number one. A way to encourage hair growth is to encourage blood stimulation. So take the pads of your fingers and make sure you massage your scalp. Do not scratch your scalp and a great way, a great time to do this is during the washing element of wash day. So take your hands and ensure that you massage your scalp in a circular motion, focusing on the problem areas. So if you have issues with your hairline, then you want to ensure that you massage that area. If you have issues with the nape of your hair, ensure that you massage that area. Massage, of course, the whole of your head, but particularly focus on those areas. Tip number two, add stimulating oils into your shampoo, conditioner, or your hair oil. So some of my favorite stimulating growth oils are tea tree and lavender. And when I do have it, peppermint, and like massages, these oils, essential oil, the essent like massages, these oils can encourage blood flow to your hair that will then aid in growth. So that's another way you can encourage growth on your wash days. Tip number three, deep condition. A lot of us that have type four hair suffer from dryness or are more prone to dry hair. So a way you can encourage growth on your wash day is by implementing deep conditioning sessions every wash day. So you can find a deep conditioner, applying it to your hair and sitting underneath a steamer. If you do not have a steamer, wear a plastic cap and then another cap and allow heat to generate naturally. But if you really want effective results, I really, really recommend hair steaming. What this does, it opens up your hair cuticles and allows the conditioner to penetrate. <laughs> what this does is opens up your hair cuticles and allows the conditioner to penetrate through the hair strands, thus allowing the hair to be moisturized and well conditioned. Did you know that's what conditioners do? Conditioners are supposed to improve the condition of your hair. Tip number four, oil treatments. Similar to massage and applying stimulating oils into some of your products, a hot oil treatment can aid in growth. How? So, once you apply this to your hair, you can massage it into your scalp. Um, I know there are some that are against applying oil directly to your hair, but this can really help with those who have dandruff or those who may be struggling to encourage hair growth. Some of you that do do this step and have not really seen a lot of hair growth, you might want to have a look at the state of the ends of your hair or the amount of oil you're applying, or lastly, the type of oil. All these things can have an impact on your hair growth or could potentially stunt your hair growth. Tip number five, working in sections. When you work in sections, you reduce the risk of unnecessary breakage. It also makes the hair process a lot less intimidating. I like to work in sections of anything from four and even sometimes eight. Ways I work in sections, when I detangle my hair, when I'm washing my hair, and even when I'm about to deep condition my hair, I realize this reduces breakage. And like I've mentioned earlier, it doesn't make the hair process as intimidating. For more tips, make sure you check out my blog www.raytalks.co.uk and in the comments below please let me know things you do on wash day to encourage growth on your hair journey thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe ray